Okay, good morning, good morning, all of you. Uh, you see, uh, in last class, we sorted that charge of sort. Today, I give an basic information how collider particles are getting charge. Based on that, we will have to see some extra information. I will explain you see carefully. First of all, we are taking precipitates. While preparing source, we are taking precipitates. For example, I am taking silver iodide. It is made up of so many silver iodide particles, though all are aggregate together, that is more than 1000 nanometer falling as a precipitate. To this, from outside, while preparing source, we are adding potassium iodide, we are adding. Common ion should precipitate should be there. It will be decomposing like how K plus plus I minus. Now, common ion is undergoing adsorption on the surface of the particle. Then every particle is getting a charge on it. After that, so many changes is done. Because having same charge, they ripple together and break down into a smaller size particle under the range of collider particles. So we are calling as a soap. We are getting soap. Okay, here every AGI particle is getting a negatively charged. And we have to tell one more thing here now. So how collider particles are acquiring charges? Anybody? Anybody? While preparing source by the preferential adsorption of a as ions on the surface of the collider particle, we are getting some particular charge on the collider particle. Then based on that charge, we are calling as a positively charged source or a negatively charged source. All of you clear? Later, what happening? So after adsorption like that, what is remaining in the uh, soul K plus particle? Where they are going? They are going into dispersion medium. So you have to observe one thing here: all collider particles are having same charge, whether all are positive or all are negative, and same quantity of the opposite charge will be present in the dispersion medium. That's why always soul should be neutral. Okay, this is one of the reasons why souls are becoming stabilized. Why? Because of getting same charge on the collider particle, is there any chance for attraction? No, they always ripple together. Because of repulsion, what happening? They will start moving from the momentum. Again, what happening? They always mix it with the dispersion medium. That's why the charge is also one of the reasons to stabilize the source. Okay, now I will tell you some other things like uh, positively charged source. Okay, in concrete examination, sometimes is asking. Generally, hydroxide source. Hydroxide source. Okay, uh, already I told uh, in uh, introduction for the example for the hydroxide source. Ferric hydroxide source. On the ferric hydroxide source, which particle is undergoing steam? From FeCl3, Fe plus particle is undergoing steam. So it is carrying positive charge, so called as a positive charge source. Like that, aluminium hydroxide source. On the aluminum hydroxide collider particle, which particle is sticking? Real plus three. Like the chromium hydroxide soap, CrOH taken price. On it, Cr plus three will be sticking. All collider particles are carrying positive charge, commonly we are calling hydroxide source or positively charged source. And we can see one more example, hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. Yes, we know very well hemoglobin is HV. Yes, in the hemoglobin, what happening? That it also undergoes emulsion. Blood is emulsion inside the body. It comes outside precipitate. Because after coming outside, it becoming a precipitate. Because of clotting, yes or no? Just inside the body, blood is a blood is a emulsion. Outside the body, it is becoming a precipitate because of coagulation of the blood particles. Okay, now if you can take like this, we are taking hemoglobin. You know hemoglobin, what is the central metal? I that will less to stay. Okay, that will not present inside the uh, complex, right? It is staying on the surface of the complex. This part, hemoglobin carries a plus to a charge. This will also under concern, positively charged. And I want to tell some other example for the negatively charged source. So many people. Can you tell some of the metal source we have? Already I told under gold soul preparation breaks or method. Which charge is coming on gold collider particle under that technique? Yes, very good. You can see a gold collider particle or it what is coming? OH minus is coming from alkali. Like that we can take a silver, so we can take on this also OH minus is coming. 
like that we can take a platinum sole on the sole so OH minus is coming that's why all colloidal particles are carrying the integers also we are calling as a negatively charged sole can you tell some other we can tell sulfide uh, sores sulfide sores yes you know already RCB sulfide is there one AS to SP on the surface which particle is undergoing accumulation S minus so we are calling as a sulfide sores and we can take some other it is nothing but cadmium sulfide on this also which particle is coming S minus so many many colloidal particles are carrying negative charge so we are calling as a negatively charged source I will give you very important for further application point of view. If you can take starch sole and as well as gelatin sole, gelatin means I told already, gelatin is a one type of highly protein added food item. Uh, I told right, it is like a which one? Uh, halwa. Yes, it is like a high, high rich protein added food it is. And I want to tell one more thing clay. If you can take clay, in that clay what will be there? Water particles dispersed in the water. What happens? The water particles are acting as a colloidal particle, but those colloidal particles are carrying a negative charge, whatever it is. So these colloidal terms negatively charge your source. Now, we have to discuss one important point you see carefully. So some extra information. You have to take one colloidal particle like the silver iron. Nice concept is there, you see carefully. On this colloidal particle, what will be coming? I minus will be undergoing a sticking. So finally, colloidal particle is becoming negatively charged particle. Is it uh, calling as a fixed layer? It is calling as fixed layer. Why? Because the layer will not be disturbed. Why? Because already it is sticked on the colloidal particle. Now, it is surrounded with one more layer from the dispersion medium. Anybody? Yes, very good. Amount. From the dispersion medium, one more layer is coming with opposite charge of I minus. Which particle? K plus particles will be coming. K plus particles is coming from dispersion medium. So, dispersion medium is it moving or fixed? Moving. So, that's why this layer is calling as a mobile layer. Mobile layer also calling as diffused layer. Diffused layer. Are you getting that form? Okay, whatever oppositely charges we are getting here, this oppositely charged layer only we are calling with one special name. Helm holds, Helm holds electric double layer. Electric double layer. Double layer means that around the colloidal particle from the dispersion medium we are getting oppositely charged layer. So anyway, these two oppositely charged layers only we are calling as Helm holds electric double layer. I told already, okay, from the colloidal particle, just I will write here, see, okay, we are taking colloidal particles or fixed layer, yes or no, yes, they are carrying which charge here, negatively charge, okay, from dispersion medium or nothing but diffused layer, what we are getting, one more oppositely charged layer we are getting, that is carrying which charge, positively charge, this is only we are calling as Helmholtz electric double layer, I told already, between two oppositely charged layers according to electrostatics, what happened? Potential will be dollars. That potential only we are calling as zeta potential. The potential uh, difference between two oppositely charged layers only we are calling as zeta potential. All of you getting or no? So one of the important concept and LP body is very, very important. Are you familiar? Yes. Now, we have to go to some important techniques among he asked this one in 2020 mains examination. Either March or January, I didn't get it properly, but he asked this question. Okay, detection. Detection of charge in souls. If you want to identify what is the charge on souls or in souls, we have some techniques. Under this, first technique is nothing but electrophoresis. Electrophoresis. What is this technique? I will write it and enter the topic. You see carefully. So, electrophoresis is one of the techniques for detection of charging soul, whether it is positively charged or negatively charged. Very simple. First of all, I am taking one U shaped glass tube. I am taking. Observe very carefully. Like this, I am taking U shaped glass tube. I am taking. Okay. 
here one swap or will be the directly swap of means what like a tap for opening purpose and closing purpose and it will be connected through glass to to uh, one of the uh, source of the sole yes here uh, we can take the uh, sole we can take here that is only we are calling as reservoir reservoir here we are taking sole particle we are taking Yes, first of all, observe this one. We are taking U-shaped glass. We are taking. It will be connected to the reservoir where we are taking bulk of soil particles. They will be separated with the swap cup, like it called tap. We can open or we can close it. Yes. First of all, see. First of all, we have to take a little bit water inside it. Why? Because I will tell. So we have to take some amount of the water already in the U-shaped glass too. And after that, I open the swap cup. What happening? What happening? The sole particle will enter into the U-shaped tube. Then I am showing you guys carefully. These are sole uh, sole particle in that sole. What will be there? Collider particles will be there, and also what will be there? Dispersion will be there. Yes or no? But initially, whatever water you take, that will be mixed with that one. No, it will be coming into one end and and also another end. What is this one? What is this one? Water part. Are you clear or no? This is a water, and this is nothing but a soap. For what purpose you are taking? You can come to know after seeing this complete experiment. So after that, I am introducing two metal plates. I am introducing that two inert metals to have introduced. Why inert metals should not respond to chemical reaction with any chemical? So for that purpose, I am taking platinum plates. I am taking. Is there any problem? These are platinum rods with plates. They are connected with the battery, positive terminal and as well as negative terminal. It is calling as a anode. The whole plate carries positive charge. This is calling as a cathode. The whole rod will carry negative charge. Enough to identify the charge of the sole. Are you getting all of it now? Here. So one thing is why we are using water means by using water we are getting a short boundary at the two ends. This is the boundary on left side A. This is the boundary of sole on right hand side B. To get the short boundary. And one more thing we will discuss. See now I am explaining how can you detect the charge. Anode will be here and here we have cathode. Okay, right now we didn't given battery connection. Now I am giving battery connection. What happening for example? Okay, left side what is the end of A? Point will be goes up. Means it will be shifted to A axis. Ultimately, what happening right side? And initially boundary is what B, and it is shifting or coming downward. It will be coming to downwards B axis. Okay, cathode means which charge? Negative charge. Anode means which charge? Positive charge. Finally, what you also? After giving battery connection, the A liquid, this is A boundary goes to outside, and B boundary comes to downside. What is the meaning of that? The whole sole is moving towards anode. That's what I'm writing. The whole sole is moving towards anode. Indirectly, sole means what is the meaning? Collider particles is moving towards positive. Collider particles is moving towards positive means collider particles are carrying negative charge, so it is calling as a negatively charged sole. Did you got my point? Then? No, for example, second case, not like that. You are taking anode here. It is generally carries positive charge, and right hand side we have cathode. It is carries negative charge. What happened here now? Whatever a boundary will be there, that will be coming downwards by up to a axis. What happening automatically? B boundary goes up. B boundary will be here. That will be goes up. B axis. Ah, what we can tell? Means A will be coming downwards and B will be going outside. Means the whole liquid is moving towards the cathode. Why? That's what I'm writing here. The whole sole will be moving from anode side to cathode side. Why is that? Okay, moving towards negative means in that term, positively particles is there. What are carrying charge in that one? Collider particles are carrying positive charge, so we are calling as positively charged. Did you got it? Just, just by checking the boundary, 
as no sir why can't we use water sir directly we can dip in the soil yes what is the problem if you directly dip these rods in the soil what happens the colloidal particles may carry positive charge or negative charge if suppose they are negative charge they are going towards directly positive rod at positive rod what is happening oxidation oxidation is what happening colloidal particles are becoming chargeless they are becoming chargeless they aggregate together they aggregate together becoming like a precipitate means the whole concept will be disturbed this one should not directly dip these electrodes in the so so we have to use one of the medium uh, nothing but water to avoid direct interaction between electrodes and the source and one more important is by using water here we are already sharp the boundaries we are getting that is a two advantage all of you getting or not yes okay we have one more technique for detection of the charge of the soul nothing but electro osmosis previous one is electro forces So, what is the osmosis? You already have idea in the solution. What do you mean? Only solvent osmosis means only solvent particles are moving from wave to wave. Pure yes, very good. One is from pure solvent side to solution side. Otherwise, low concentration side to which one? High concentration side. Whatever it is, the phenomena is falling as a osmosis. Which particles are traveling there? Uh, solvent particles. Now, what, what is the concept here? What is the meaning of electro osmosis? What is the main principle here? So, in case of electro osmosis, by using, by using which one? Parchment paper. By using parchment paper, uh, we have to stop. We have to stop. the momentum of the momentum of colloidal particles after that what will happen we will say so anyway what move, what particles momentum you are stopping colloidal particles colloidal particles means like solute particle automatically which particle is moving dispersion medium dispersion medium is similar to that's why it is calling as a electro osmosis anyway by using parchment paper we have to stop the momentum of colloidal particles How can you detect the charge? You will see everything. First of all, we have to come to parchment paper. You know very well, parchment paper has little bit of smaller holes than normal written paper. Through that, which particle you are sending? Solution you are sending. They are definitely they are passing through that one because of very small size. Through the same paper you are sending, small particles is it passing? No, because of the uh, the size of the colloidal particles is bigger than whole size. That's why they can't pass. They can pass here. That's the special of the parchment paper. Okay, you take as this electro or forces diagram only. You have to take. You see carefully this one. U shaped line should be there. Okay, like this will be there. And you have to take the uh, reservoir. You have to take which is connected to bulk source of which one uh, source. Okay, here one last stop. Cock will be there. Here we have to take a reservoir. I think that's all. It will be coming from here. Okay, as it is uh, like previous, we have to take initially little bit water in the U-shaped tube. Then we have to open the tap. Then soil will enter into the U-shaped tube. Then we are getting to exact boundaries. We are getting to well, left side boundary A, right side boundary is denoted by B. Okay, in the above what will be going? Water will be going. Yes or no? Yes, these are which one? Water in case. Okay, now we do this one. What we have to introduce? Two inert metals, rods or plates. We have to introduce. Okay, why? Because it's like they are platinum rods. We have to take generally they are inert metals. They won't respond to any chemical reaction. No rusting, nothing. They are connected to battery, positive terminal, and as well as negative terminal. It is calling as a anode and carries positive charge. It is calling as a cathode, calling as a Carries a negative charge, but what I told condition or principle by using parchment paper bag, we have to control or we have to stop the momentum of colloidal particle. Means here I am placing a parchment paper bag and uh, parchment paper I am placing here and here also parchment paper. What happening then? Whatever colloidal particles will be there, all will be scattered at the bottom, and uh, also what will be there? Dispersion medium is there. 
the dispersion medium goes into upper layer or definitely why because dispersion medium means the element solvent solvent nothing but solution that's why very small size that's why they can pass it through holes of the pipe and travel back okay if you take it like this okay initially area of the shore boundaries now to give a power supply what happens what happens i will write here now you are giving the power supply okay first case uh, anode side anode side means positively charged rod and uh, cathode side cathode means is nothing but negatively charged observe very carefully about what happening after giving power supply is there any chance for uh, momentum of fired particle no, they already selected at the bottom now what is moving why dispersion medium is also carrying charges okay now what happening for example if you do like this there is no chance for momentum of collider particle only chance is there for moving of dispersion medium then what happening whatever shore boundary here a that will be goes up up to a axis okay automatically what happening whatever b boundary on left side that will be coming downwards b axis from this what we can tell the whole liquid moving from cathode side to anode side the whole solid is moving or only dispersion medium is moving yes only dispersion medium is moving if dispersion medium is moving towards positive rod yes dispersion medium is nothing but negatively charged if dispersion medium is negatively charged dispersed phase should be positively charged if dispersed phase is positive they are calling as Okay. No. What is another possibility? For example, anode side will be there carries a positive charge, and cathode is there that terminal carries negatively charge. No. You take an uh, initially border A, and it will comes down up to A dash. This the liquid boundary comes down automatically right side it goes up. You take an initially B, and it goes upside nothing but B dash. From this, what we can tell the whole momentum towards cathode side. Whole momentum or only dispersion medium momentum? Dispersion medium. So from uh, anode to cathode, dispersion medium is moving. If dispersion medium is moving towards negative, yes, dispersion medium is a positive. If dispersion medium is a positive, dispersion phase is the negative. Dispersion phase is nothing but polarity. So automatically, the whole soul is falling as negative in charge. Like that, we can predict the charge of the source. All of you understood both the experiment. Yes. Now we are discussing very important concept. Now observe very carefully. Uh, coagulation. Coagulation also calling as precipitation. Precipitation also calling as fluctuation. Fluctuation. Calculation all of same meaning. Generally, we are using coagulation only. Majority the coagulation or precipitation or fluctuation. All all all. What is the meaning of this one? Already have some idea. Ah, uh, we discuss already severity, not severity under leophilic and leophobic. Just you see, what is the meaning of coagulation? It is a point opposite to peptidization. Peptidization. Already you have peptidization technique for the preparation of the source. What you did there? What you did there? You are taking a PPT particles. You are taking by doing something. You are break down into small small particles. The phenomena is calling as a peptidization. Is a reverse I am telling. What do you mean by this one? Souls are becoming into precipitate. The phenomena is calling as coagulation. Means it is a process in which soul particles are converting into precipitate particles. Particles that is. Coagulation. Soul particle is what in that particle size range is one to thousand nanometer. Such kind of all collider particles are aggregates with the becoming the biggest particles more than thousand nanometer size. The phenomena is calling as a coagulation or precipitation or fluctuation. What is the meaning of this one? How can you achieve this one? We have any different techniques. We have under this first one it is nothing but the boiling. Boiling is a one of the technique to achieve the coagulation. Is to disturb the soul. We have boiling technique. Why? Because 
For example, you have silver iodide, a colloidal size particle. If there is no charge, what happening? They aggregate together, becoming like a precipitate. Okay, but from outside, you are adding Ki, you are adding. After adding Ki, I minus is another point speaking here, it is becoming like a colloidal size particle. Yes or no? This is every Ki is getting negative charge, it is becoming like a soap. It is initially precipitate. Now, you see the which process? Adsorption, very good one. Means that uh, in this process, what is going on mainly? Adsorption is going on. Adsorption means is it exothermic or endothermic? Exothermic phenomena. Exothermic means energy will be releasing. So, this forward process will be takes place at low temperature. Okay, yes, you take a respirator, you added electrode and it will left like that, which is becoming sore. But what you are doing? You are boiling that one. Boiling that one is what happening? Yes, you are increasing the temperature. While increasing the temperature, what happening? Whatever particles is already secret of the colloidal particle undergoing a desorption. Adsorption forward at low temperature, quite never thing will be at high temperature. That's why desorption is going on. After desorption, what is happening? The colloidal particles is blue, uh, means the secret particle is coming back, then colloidal particles are becoming the charges, again they are becoming the precipitates. Very simple thing. Huh? Low condition, very low temperature condition, favorable for adsorption. You are heating the uh, means you are raising the temperature, desorption is going on. Whatever particles is sticked up, coming outside, they are becoming neutral particles, aggregate together, becoming like a precipitate. What does it mean? Sorry is becoming precipitated by just boiling, phenomena is falling as a coagulation. Like that, we have different techniques to get the coagulation or to achieve the coagulation. Is it time is it? Okay, then.